Hey everybody, it's John from the Gloucester Library, and for today's Let's Draw, let's draw a seahorse. Alright, let's get started. So, I'm going to start with the head up here, and then work down to the tail that curls in. We're going to look at the seahorse from the side. So let's start with the head. I'm going to draw, it's kind of got a curve shape at the top. And a curve shape at the bottom, kind of like where the jawline is. Just imagine there being an eye right here. And then it's going to come down into the snout. And kind of be a little, little rounded on the end there. And kind of bump out a little. And then come back in to the bottom. A little like jaw-like shape there. And then let's do the eye. The eye is going to be a circle. And I'm going to draw another circle inside and color that one in dark. Look for the pupil. I'll leave, leave a little spot on colored. I like to do that to show where the light's hitting, like it's shining, like a shiny spot. And then behind the like little draw line here, I'm going to draw the um, pectoral fin. And it's going to come out like that. Just out, kind of curve down. You can even do them like just straight lines if you want. They don't have to curve on the ends. I, I just like to do mine that way. I'm going to put some little lines in there just to show like the ribs of the fin. And then I'm going to draw the inside of the neck, front of the neck here, and come down to the belly. So let's draw the neck. Kind of curving, and then it comes out really far to the belly, and curving back, and around, and up, and then curling in just like that. So it kind of makes like a little S shape there. And then let's draw the, um, the back. So I'm going to start from the head, and go down to the back of the head. Then down the back, the neck, and to the back. Come in a little bit. And back out. And curve around, just like that. And go back and meet our lines there for a little tip. Tip of that tail. All right, now let's draw um, the... I guess they, they, they call it the um, cornet. The parts that kind of stick up like this. I'm going to draw them coming all the way down here. And then right here on this one, I'm going to turn it, though it's going to span from about here to here. A little dorsal fin that comes out. Just like that. And then I'm going to do some little lines in there for ribs in my dorsal fin. There we go. Alright. And then I'm going to um, have like my coronet extend just a little bit past, right about there. So a few more lines for that. And now what I'm going to do is connect them. So I'm going to kind of curve in and then back out to the tip in and back out all the way down to there and stop and then maybe have it continue just a, a little bit here have them draw like the lines for it like that oops and then have it Kind of curve in and in, just for some little ones. You can actually have them come all the way down if you want. That's okay. They sometimes get hidden when they're curving around. So if you want to have them come all the way around, that's that's okay because they do. They go all the way around. And then I'm going to draw some of the lines there for um, what they call the keel. A little design there on the belly and throughout the the shape of our uh, seahorse. So, just as little guides, I'm going to lightly draw 
a line that follows down our seahorse like that and then another one that follows that way down the back and goes all the way through to the tail and to the tail and then I'm going to do little lines like this almost like it looks like webbing but it's really just the shape where these little parts stick up in the keel and like that and like that and I'm trying to make sure as I'm going across you'll see this one this one and this one are all in line with each other see so I'm trying to do that with all of them there we go all right and I'm going to draw just like a little little opening here on the snout like that looks like a little curve shape and I kind of did another little curve inside and filled it in just to make it look like an opening there all right and let's see I think that that's that's going to be our seahorse I think we're done let's just add some color I want to make my seahorse kind of like an orange color I think that that would be pretty so I'm going to pick out an orange color there. Mm, there we go. And pick a brush. If you're working with, um, you know, uh, crayons or colored pencils, um, just remember to color in lightly where you want it to um, look like there's the, the light source. Like I like to always have my light source coming from the top. So color in lightly, and then for the parts where you want it to have shadow, just you know press down harder. Press down really hard on the spots you want it to be the darkest for the shadows, and then just lightly you know, everywhere else. All right, I'm gonna do this all along because they, they're pretty much the same color all throughout. I'm just going to fill it in here, fill in that, uh, the coronet, cor coronet, I think it's C-O-R-O-N-E-T, maybe it's coronet, I might be saying it wrong. Fill it in with color real quick there for you. And you just go ahead and take your time. I'm just trying to do it a little bit faster because I, I know you um, might not want to watch me color in this for, but for only so long. There we go. And color in my little pectoral fin, my little dorsal fin. There we go. All right, that's pretty good for colors. Now I'm going to go back in and kind of blend them a little bit. When you're doing this with um, color pencils or crayons, you have to do this as you're going along. You know, you get color and lightly and then darker and um, try to blend it as best you can. Uh, works a little bit differently on this uh, particular painting tool I'm using on my iPad. So I can't quite do the same as I would with real tools like color pencils and that's okay. Everything's got their advantages and disadvantages. All right, so there we go. There's our seahorse and I'm gonna put it in a you know, nice like maybe turquoise type water behind it. I think that would be pretty. A nice blue turquoise water. Let's do that. Color it in quick. I'm gonna have a light at the top and a dark at the bottom. Oops. Light at the top and then dark at the bottom. Uh, 
There we go. Got some in here. All right. And then I'm going to go in and kind of smudge it and blend it in a little bit, like we did with the color on the seahorse. So it gets rid of some of those harsh lines on there. So if you're coloring with crayons and colored pencils, you won't have to worry about that because you can do that pretty good with those tools as you go along. All right, there we go. There's our seahorse. All right, I hope you enjoyed today's Let's Draw, and I hope to see you next time.